Okay, Dirk Knudsen with you, Hillsboro Herald. I'm here on the corner of 4th and Main Street. And uh, this gravel lot right here is about to be transformed into an awesome food cart pod. Let's go back and talk to Larry, the man with the mission to bring food cart offerings to downtown Hillsboro. Larry, yeah, hey. what going the on? hell's going on here, buddy? Another day, man, making it happen out here in Hillsboro. I know, every day, right? Yeah, yeah for real. So Larry owns uh, Burrow Burger, that fantastic yellow uh, magic ship that rides around the city and, <laughs> and makes uh, makes uh, the most amazing food. Yeah, smashed burgers, man, fries, tots. Geez, I met you many years ago at the Arenco Station. Nothing there but the oak trees. Yeah. In your cart. Yeah, Arenco uh, Station concessions, man. And that was uh, a wild time. you were a mainstay. Yeah. Maybe one of the first carts in Hillsboro to open like that. We were. We were the, one of the first ones to do it uh, as far as a, a stationary cart. So your background in food goes way back, and then the whole mobile aspect of serving food in locations uh, yeah. where people are getting on and off trains, and the trains right up the street here. Yeah. yeah. So I know you through that, and uh, more recently through uh, Burrow Burger. We both have businesses here in downtown Hillsboro, yeah. but let's talk a little bit about. What you got going here? Tell me what the project is, timelines, and uh, what can people expect to find here uh, and when? So really, this uh, this lot's been vacant, as everybody knows, for years. And you know, you you tour around town and you talk to people over time, and we're all like, "Hey, it'd be great to have food carts here." So over over time, the owners got to me and and they said, "What do you think? You know, we we like Moro Burger, we like what you do, and we think this would be a good a good spot for community. The whole idea is gathering. You know, we want." Right. Even though you know we're in this whole social distancing time of, of of life, it's yeah we still want to get out. We still want to live life. Uh, so the idea is is to have some some outdoor takeout focused foods, and that's what food carts do. Yeah, when food carts bring people. We bring we bring togetherness. You know. So you've been kind of thinking about this project. It's gone from thinking yeah. to trying to get the permit yeah. to get the city support, which has now happened. Uh, yeah. Tell us a little bit about. Um, that process, the people that are helping you, and uh, let's talk about the timeline and what kind of carts are going to be here when this thing opens. So the city's been really great. Yeah. Um, you know, at first there was some, we you know we kind of had to be really clear on what we were looking to do, and and there were a lot of questions, a lot of meetings, and that's you know that's what happens. With well, they didn't have a clear code for food right, cart pods, right. right? Yeah, there still isn't. We're we're the first ones to do it. So in we'll Hillsboro. we'll probably get a code for future pods to yeah. open, which. People in Portland love. I have every reason to believe people in Hillsboro will equally embrace because uh, we have a great following for food trucks in this town. Right. Everything from the yeah. small taqueria food trucks yeah. to uh, things like, uh, oh gosh, um, the group Mad Greek. He comes into oh, yeah. town Mad uh, Greek. from way some, back. Yeah, we got some heavy hitters, some OGs who've been here a long time, yeah. some new ones who are really paving the way for Hillsboro. You know. So uh, there's a brand, there's a ton of gravel going down. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna span here real quick. Yep. You got workmen here today from uh, Evergreen Fencing, good local company. Yeah. So they're going to be fencing this and securing it, I take it. That's right. We're going at the, a nice ornamental kind of a, a pool style fence up front. Cool. And we're going to go Kind of a classy look. Yeah, classy, simple. Chain link out. We already talked about that, Derek. Come on. All right. Um, so tell me about the food trucks. Who do you got lined up? That we're we're keeping secret. We're, oh man, yeah, come got, on! We got some good ones. Man. Right. We, like we said, we got some OGs coming. We got some new ones coming. We're Are gonna, you going to be here? Yeah, Boro's going to be here for awesome. a while. Uh, that's reason enough to come. So I trust <laughs> you. Whoever you bring that's in that caliber, we're going to love that. Yeah. Um, tell me about opening time. What's what's it looking like? We're shooting for end of this month. Wow. Yeah. We're new Year's really pushing. Post Christmas, New Year. Yeah. Post Christmas, New Year's. Uh, HDP has been been really. Um, Really helping us out. Good. We've been really key in the, in the project. Carla at the city, you know, everybody. That's the Hillsboro Downtown yeah. Partnership. Hillsboro Downtown Partnership. And uh, you're right across from Noble Hop, so yeah. those folks can come over and eat. And uh, I think the uh, variety is a great thing about food carts. That's the whole thing. You know, we, we want to bring people to downtown, not yes. just for the pod, not It'll just help for everybody. the owners, but yeah. it's, it's going to bring it's going to bring customers and people and community to the other businesses. That's the whole idea. Okay. It's not it's not about competition. <laughs> you know, it's, it's not. There's there's room for everybody out. More is better. Synergy. More is better. And just because you know businesses are on wheels doesn't mean we're not businesses. Right. We, we've got all the the troubles that every other business in a building has. How has it been? Aside from your new project, by the way, which congratulations. That's gonna to me, it's gonna be a huge draw. And we need businesses to expand and 
survive right now. How has it been for you and the Burrow Burger during COVID? I mean, you've had to adopt. Yeah, the food truck game is rough, man. You know, not just Burrow, but a lot of my friends and colleagues who own, who own trucks and carts, we've lost all of our corporate jobs. You know, yeah. we would go out and, and make our money and kind of not be so much in downtown other than the, the, the pop-ups that we would do here in seasons. But, you know, there's there's no business out there. We're right. all scrambling. We've, a lot of us have taken on second jobs. Right. Some of us have closed down. Right. So I know, guess people don't take that. They think, oh, those guys are fine because right. they're mobile, right? Right. Yeah. No, and it's, it's not that way. No, it's all relative. We're all we're all part of this whole system. The struggle is yeah, across struggle. the board for everybody, it's isn't across it? Across the board, and it's very real. So. What do you think the hours might be here? Could somebody eat a little later than maybe some of the others, or earlier? Or you, right now, you... we're going to kind of stick to the the governor's orders. I I think we're going to be doing. We wanted to stay up until ten. Yeah. Um, we're probably going to start till eight. 8 to 10. I'm but the not sure. outdoor dining aspect, so you're thinking right. there'll be covered tents here right. to, yep. to beat the rain back, maybe yeah. some heaters? Yeah, yeah we're going to have heaters, we're going to have covered tents, we're going to have seating. We'll probably fit about, we could fit about 40 capacity. And that's, oh, that's, with, that's with a ton of distance, right? Right, yeah, exactly. There's going to be plenty of space for everyone to stay social distance. Well, just... Uh... Just um, a little bit west of the corner of 4th and Main is a great spot for it. It feels like you're just entering downtown and boom, there's going to be that food, the smoke rising from yeah, man. from the boilers and yeah. the, God knows what we're going to get here. I can't wait. I'll oh, be here on great. opening day. Yeah. We invite everybody else to come. I'm going to close this out by asking you about this amazing art that's going on here. Um, I know we don't know uh, all the artist names are listed, but for anybody who just wants to come see some great local art, um, is this something that kind of started... Uh, with your concept, or did it happen here before? No, the, the wall, the wall art. I have no idea. I believe the um, the art, the art, um, the hack, maybe the yeah, the Arts and Culture Council. Right there. And we're in the Cultural Arts District right. now too, which what is we something did people don't know. Is I commissioned some wow, local look at these. artists to get the oil cans. Look at these. Oh, there's there's Laura in Bloom. Yeah. I know Laura. Yeah. Great. And so, at. Art Devaney. Yeah, we're gonna turn these into tabletops so people can stand and eat. We're gonna get some. some I love it. Tables. Uh, Brett Howard Oil donated the cans just down the street. Brett Howard did. Yep. Yeah, so here's Ty local, man. Here's Tyler from Insomnia. Yeah. A lot of great local people yeah. here. We got a couple more coming that I'm pretty excited to see. All right. Well, uh, Larry, thank you so much for your time, and uh, we're keeping it local. The food's yeah. gonna be great. Yeah. Art location everything's dialed larry yeah. good luck with the project we'll see you on Appreciate opening it. day but i will be down for a burger before that i promise yeah better see you bro. okay borough burger uh live in hillsborough down here with larry and uh at the new home of the uh carts on main carts on main yeah, check it on instagram okay carts on main on instagram thanks everybody for uh, coming out thanks larry